This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, if you model in Maya, then at some point you probably tried to uh, take a 3D model and place it uh, in front of a 2D image, okay? And preferably uh, make it look like it belongs there, all right? Now, there's an option in Maya to do that, and it's called Use Background, but a lot of people run into issues when they try to do that. So what I'm going to show you in this video is that you can do the exact same thing, but do that in Photoshop. Okay, well, let's get started. Here we go. So today we are going to address a question that I received in the MA Tutorials Hangout group on Maya, and we're going to solve that problem in Photoshop. Okay, so the question was about the use backdrop option uh, or background option in Maya. Now, what does that do? That allows you to take a 3D model, uh, place it in front of a 2D image uh, or a backdrop and make it look like that object is actually in that environment, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that exact same effect, but we're gonna do it in Photoshop, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go up to File and Open to open up a background image. So uh, let's see, we'll take this desert scene right here and then i'm going to go up to 3d and a new 3d layer from file and i'm going to select a model that i previously made uh, let's go to my models which is a you know kind of a dynamite plunger thing here we go and i'm going to take my low poly obj now immediately when i hit ok it will be placed in my scene and you can see that I now have a number of controls going on, okay? Now, it's important to load up my low poly because I will be able to add in maps later on, such as normal, specular, diffuse, and so forth, okay? But first, let's get this guy positioned. Now, if we look up here, you got a number of controls. If I click on the one at the left here and I click on my object, I can, you know, move it around. So let's do an angle that I like, maybe something like that. And then we'll take this control uh, over here, which will allow me to kind of push that back and make that a bit smaller. Now, this looks very, very big, obviously, especially for a scene like this. So we're not going to go nuts here. Yeah, that's probably okay. All right. So that's good. Next for lighting. Now there's not a lot of shadow casting going on in this image, but if there were, I could click on this white ball here. And by manipulating this handle, I can rotate the shadow around to match up the shadows in my image based on where they are. Okay. So maybe let's do this. That's fine. So now that it's positioned correctly and I'm satisfied with the shadows, I want to plug in my maps, okay? Now, in order to do that, I need to click on my object and right there. And once I do that, I got a number of swatches up here. It says diffuse, specular, I got normal down here. It will not allow you to plug in every map you have, but you know, it works uh, you know, pretty decent. So we're going to go up to Diffuse to start. I'm going to click on that folder and I'm going to go into Replace Texture. Now I need to obviously go into the correct folder and in my case my files are Targa files so I'm going to select that. So I want to start by taking my color or Diffuse map and plugging that in. So just hit OK and there you go. It's now textured. Next, my specular map. Load Texture. Uh, let's see, where did he go? Uh, I'm not quite sure if I have one here. Uh, I do, but I'm just going to go to all formats. Uh, here's my specular map. Okay, it's quite bright, so we can tweak that in a bit. Then, for example, uh, let's see, my normal map. Load texture. I can take that right here. And once you have all of that loaded, you then have the opportunity to tweak your settings as you have in a lot of, you know, other programs. We'll just uh, bring this down a bit. Okay. 
And that's all there's to it. So uh, yeah, hopefully that will help you to fix your problem. Once this is set up correctly, here is the render button over here. And um, I'll just uh, hit that. I'll uh, render this out and I'll see you guys when it's done. Hang on. Well, there you have it. There's our end result. Uh, considering the time spent, doesn't look too bad, I think. Uh, so hopefully this will help you out in your uh, workflow. And uh, before I sign off, don't forget to check out the MH Tutorials Hangout group. The link is below. And uh, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.